I'm Cal Bowen, and I hope you'll stick around with me today as we look at the fifth Sunday after Epiphany, because we're going to talk about what the word hope means in the Bible. The Apostle Paul wrote, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Paul often talks of the, these three virtues together, but then Peter also spoke of them together. God is love. The mark of a Christian is our love for God, others, and ourselves. Faith is the gift by which we receive our salvation as well as the gifts and fruit of the Holy Spirit. But why is hope so important? Part of our confusion comes from the difference between what the Bible says about hope and what we usually think of as hope. When we try a new breakfast place, we might think to ourselves, I sure hope they have some flaky buttery biscuits, but we have no idea whether they will or they won't. To better understand how this is different from biblical hope, we can look at the first reading for this Sunday. Right in the middle of it, the prophet asked the people, why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God? Isaiah is speaking to people who have been sent away from their homes to live elsewhere in the Babylonian Empire, while their land and property has been confiscated and given to others. <laughs> One of the things I love about the Bible is that it talks about us the way we really are. Some of the people were complaining and feeling like God didn't see them or that he just didn't care. They were exiles in a foreign land and all hope had slipped through their fingers. So Isaiah comforts them in two ways. First off, he reminded them that the rulers and nations of this world come and go. Babylon will fall. Secondly, he tells them to remember who their creator God is. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Their hope is not built on their own abilities, after all. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Now, the word translated hope in the New International Version and wait in some other uh, translations comes from a Hebrew word meaning to twist and or stretch. So no matter how dark our pathway might be or for how long that darkness might last, the people of God remain connected to God, not by our strength or goodness, but by God's strength and goodness. So if I take this rubber band and I stretch it, and I twist it, right? It's pulling to get back to where it started, to get back to the shape that is normally the shape of the rubber band. And it, when it comes together, when my two hands come close to one another, it returns to its shape. Well, that's sort of like what hope or waiting on the Lord is in the, in the biblical sense of the word, that we are connected to God, and again, not by anything that we do, it's by God's love, by God's grace, by God's power, by God's goodness that we're connected to him. And so when you pull these two apart, God is always trying to pull us back into the shape that we were meant to be in, into the position next to him that we were supposed to have. God is always pulling to restore us. And we feel that tension between where we are now and that restoration to come. Our faith, our perseverance through hard times are both woven together with our hope in the Lord. The Bible says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We don't hope that God will set things right in the way the world speaks of hope. By faith, we are confident. We know that God will set things right. I like the way Martin Luther King Jr. once put it. We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but 
it bends toward justice. Evil forces, even our own sinfulness, will not prevail. Jesus broke their power on the cross. He was resurrected and has ascended into heaven where there are songs of praise and there are victory dances. My hope is built on who God is and what God has done, especially what God has done for us in Christ. My hope is built on nothing less.